Well, good evening, and thank you for your patience. Uh, stuff happened. It doesn't matter. We're here now. It's okay. Tonight was going to be a short episode anyway, so it's going to probably still finish pretty much on time. And yes, that intro music is really funky. Uh, it's When I finally heard it, I was looking for music for this, and I just went, yeah, there it is. Yep, there's the one. So, yes. <clears throat> uh, so... This is Dirty 20 Gaming. My name is Kevin. These wonderful people have agreed to join me to play a silly game. And that makes me happy. These silly people are in no particular order except the order that they are in Zoom. Uh, Bison Stonefist, tell us about yourself. Um, well, myself spends most of his time here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you can find me on Sundays at 6 p.m., our usual start time for um, Dark Side of the Dodecahedron, and I play a box. Two boxes. <laughs> um, full <laughs> marbles. Yeah, full we'll marbles. Yes. We're going to be tactical. Um, other than that, um, I've got my own Twitch channel, uh, Bison underscore Stonefist. I'll throw it in chat. I play my own games on Tuesday nights, but that will be changing in the near-ish future when I get my shit together and um start a cyberpunk red campaign on this channel we got time we got time and uh, i'm in it so i'm looking forward to that i have already built i've never played the system before i immediately built the world's most useless character so <laughs> uh, yeah. we'll see uh, <clears throat> oh i don't know he's kind of charisma based so i stand the chance mm -hmm. uh but <laughs> thank you for doing that in advance uh speaking of people who are doing stuff here uh, in advance uh, we can segue to uh, na 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 bat cow. Sorry, yeah, I did the short um, version tonight, sir. No, no, it's all Caught right. You, know, you, you gotta. I, yeah, I thought I had a little more dance time, but uh, <laughs> this is the only place where I do anything that I can be perceived. Everywhere else, you cannot yeah, see me doing the things, which uh, is mostly modding for different streamers and such. Um, then we have here, and I'm still working on the. Uh, Write up and flesh out of my Deadlands game, which does not have a cool name like Honey Lingers can, uh, One Shot does, but <laughs> you know uh, that'll come not along. Not yet, it. it doesn't. Not yet, not yet it doesn't. It doesn't. Yep. Uh, that will come to you at three thirty in the morning, and uh, you will be rolling out of bed looking for a pen. <laughs> Lord, I hope not, because it's not getting recorded at that point. <laughs> you wake up in the morning and go, turkey pencil? Uh, how did I think? No, never mind. <laughs> And then you'll figure it out later that day. But anyway, thank you uh, for joining us this evening. Thank you for doing modding work because that is for the most part thankless work. So I will thank you for the thankless work. Um, and uh, next in line, we have the queen. Uh, our queen <laughs> is not dead. Uh, Mana queen, tell us all about yourself. <laughs> it's been two uh... weeks. I'm allowed now. It's been yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's been longer than two weeks. It's been almost a month now. <laughs> um, anyways. Uh, when I am not here every Saturday, which I love being here every Saturday when I can, um, I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off, but sometimes when I decide to reattach it, you can find me on Wednesdays, uh, at 2.30 PM Eastern Standard Time at Wandering Haven Publications, where, uh, I play a very stoic, slightly bitchy, beautiful rogue, uh, who is in Ravenloft in a crop top. So, you know, that goes, <laughs> <well>. uh, <laughs> um, uh, it's a, it's a good time over there. We're stuck and we're trapped and there's doppelgangers <laughs> and there's crazy stuff, but it's a really good time over there. You should check it out. We have a lot of fun every Wednesday. Um, I'll pop that link into chat. Uh, Thank hopefully you. come this winter, I will get my own channel back up and running in the next month or so. Uh, so you should be able to find me there earlier in the weeks. There. Keep us in the loop, as they say. Yes. <laughs> Always. Also, just because oh. just because Kyle didn't, um, Kyle does mod for his beautiful wife, Lizzie Gloriosa, who is here. <laughs> you should check her out. <laughs> put the, yeah, put all the links in. Uh, mod somewhere, <laughs> put their links in. Uh, yeah, do it all. Yes. Uh, all the uh, links. You're you don't want to take the time for all the channels I mod. <laughs> I know, but listen, she's here and supports us actively and avidly every week. So we should give her a shout out too. <laughs> and she's great. <laughs> so you should check her out too. Yes, I tricked her good. <laughs> yeah, very good. Yeah, go to yeah, meet all of these wonderful people. Thank you. Uh, yes, at thank our you, Discord. Uh, we're, uh, we're there all the time, and it is, I can fairly and honestly say one of the nicest places on the internet 
Uh, come join the nice uh, and the supportive and the inclusive and the friendly and the supportive mm -hmm. and the inclusive and the friendly. And I could just go on for days about how supportive and inclusive and friendly we are, but I'll stop. Let's yes. go there and meet all of us. Um, <laughs> You will also be able to see there are rapidly uh, expanding uh, lineup. So rapidly expanding that I just realized I haven't upgraded the schedule on Twitch yet. So many things and so <laughs> little concentration. Uh, that's, that's what it really comes down to. <laughs> um, but uh, we are now f rapidly expanding. Is Yes, that's what I usually do at Christmas dinner. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we are up to five nights a week with the help of two producers and... Uh, armloads and armloads of players and multiple GMs with more in the pipeline doing one shots and series and all kinds of good stuff uh, and helping this channel to explode and almost so far already almost double the hours uh, in a week that we are streaming. Uh, it's just absolutely mind blowing and fun and I'm looking to making it even bigger. So thank you to yeah. all the producers, all the mods, uh, we have somebody uh, here tonight who's, I'm sure your elbow is sore from swinging the band hammer so much. Uh, and lots of, uh, as I said, producers, we, uh, and all kinds of things. <laughs> uh, so that's enough of that. Come and watch us five nights a week from Wednesday all the way through Sunday. Always different stuff. And uh, yeah, no two shows the same and no two shows anything like you've seen anywhere else. I think it's fair to say. <laughs> Even our D&D &D games are very, very different. That's so, why I love playing here. Oh, that's enough of that. Let's get back to this game. Uh, the the four of you, Moose included, uh, are finally in the museum. I kind of want to take it from the door again because that scene was, you know, it sort of sets the, the whole mood. Uh, this museum is a tube, about six meters across, 20 feet, and it goes down about 20 meters, so about 60 feet. And it's zero G, just like everywhere else that you've been. So all the displays in this museum go all the way around on the floor, sticking out like spokes on a wheel. So the hallway is just this tube down the middle of the room at zero G. And right at the end of it, again, I can't say zero G enough times because there's a plinth that comes up from the floor. Like, if you're the right <laughs> angle, it comes up from the floor. If you're at the wrong angle, it sort of comes up from the wall or from the ceiling because there's no actual up. Yeah, you, you're so bad at confused zoom and you're just going, no, <laughs> in at least one case there. Uh, but yeah, at the end of the hallway, and you watch it rotating ever so slowly, is uh, this plinth with this gold and platinum and ceramic skull uh, um uh, face, head on top of it. It's all covered in buttons and jewels. Around the eyes are the big sort of mask effect, uh, all done first in black metal and then inserted into every one of those little lace-like spots is a tiny ruby. Around the mouth, tiny rubies as well, but they don't just follow the lips, they do the bigger, wider face. You see the the back of the skull where the hair would be is all a, a series of holes. And if you remember, Second Child told you it doesn't have a voice box. It uses an actual air and a little organ to make the noises. There's buttons all over it. Second Child is with you. Uh, when you turn around and look, uh, Moose, uh, you just see him heading out the door. He's bored. I'm just gonna Before make sure to does. detach our hacker from him. Yes, oh, that's right. Yeah, I almost Please. took you with him. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so yeah, you gotta scoop him off the shoulders. Moose, moose, moose. I need the hacker. Moose. <laughs> yeah. Right. So he leans back, and then uh, and before anybody says anything, I'll be quiet. And he, he doesn't promise not to kill anybody. He just promises to be quiet. And he turns and leaves the room, uh, heading into an area you guys have never been. He stays on this level and just goes through a door on the side of the room that you guys have never been to. Yeah, there was two doors. Yep. Maybe he's going to go play and board you games with that. The, by beating the gray ice. <laughs> so, yeah. 
So yeah, Moose wanders off, and because uh, I've already done this twice in this campaign, Moose <laughs> will not start a highly explosive situation, which will result in your thing going all square shaped. So there, uh, disclaimer made. <laughs> There's uh, a reason that I don't trust the I'll be quiet, but at the same time... <laughs> it's not him you don't much... trust, it's me. <laughs> Fair. I would never He's say that in character. Yeah, hold on. That's Wednesday night character. If, if there's any you know, character that just does not change, it's the moose. Yep. Uh, Multiversal moose is like a universal constant. So also, Jason second... apparently now has a holographic cat with him. Because yes, here absolutely. we are. Yep, absolutely. Yep. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> well, I'll That's play with always that. It, it turns out, uh, Jason. Some people call it a bug. Some people would call it a glitch. But when you get nervous or excited, a holographic cat appears. Okay. And sometimes disappears into the green screen. Yeah, it's yeah. Oh, you have Schrodinger's holographic cat. If you look at it, oh. it disappears. But that altogether, yeah. If you a look at the cat, that doesn't yes. sound good. If you, <laughs> no, if you look, if you look at the cat, it disappears. Then, at the yes. corner of your eye, you can see it. <clears throat> peripheral cat. Yeah. Peripheral so, cat. In this, okay. uh, as, as you uh, look in, uh, well, what do you do? Going in. Uh, this that looks like a Harlequin mask or face paint. Mm-hmm. Roughly, yeah. Roughly. Um, Even though how does it look? Second child made it decades ago when she was in grade nine. Um, I guess I'm still plot point. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was gonna say what. Um, what does it look like in net space? Uh, yeah, you zork into still this connected. room. Um, it is. Uh, this room is. is it looks like. A old sheet of uh, paper, you know the old pirate scroll, but it's all kind of ripped mm-hmm. and jagged at the side because it's been rolled and unrolled a thousand times, just hanging there, perfectly rendered in an otherwise void space, and it just looks like somebody scribbled a whole list of things, like hundreds and hundreds of things on it. There's no order, there's no pattern, but every one of those things is itemized of something that's in this room. But unlike the other room where it was all compartmentalized, this is like the junk drawer. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to run a routine trying to look for some kind of pattern. Okay. Brilliant. I like that. Uh, oh. get my pen. Nice. Patterns. Okay. Uh, what does uh, Jet do? Uh, Jet is um, going to very carefully try to float his way down the center of the tube, yeah. not touching anything, yeah. not swinging our hacker into anything, yep. um, and yeah. actually kind of silently thankful that Moose is not here to try and get through, because Bull yes. in a China shop yes. does not compare to Moose <laughs> yeah. in a reliquary. Oh. Now, uh, Moose in a tourist kiosk. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's happened in my hometown. Uh, yeah, yeah, but you're you from. Say, Moose I, is I won't so say. I won't named. say where, but you're from there, so that doesn't surprise yeah. me at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yes, uh, you are um, trying to float down there. Beautiful. Uh, you're trying to get all the way down, or are you checking stuff out on the way by? What do you? I'm I'm focusing on vaguely you. keeping and you know an eye out for for our our target, but I have a feeling, given the fact that nobody's been down here for ages, from the look of it, um, that the head is actually the only repository of an actual accurate yes. inventory. Yep. And we're gonna have to we're gonna have to talk to the creepy head. All right. So you just kind of you're focusing mostly on getting down there, so you're not paying a lot of attention to the outside. Uh, Jason, what are you doing? Okay, so second child is with them. It's with you. Yep. Um, do they look like they're managing? I mean, they survive in zero G, which yep. seems to be most of the time, right? Like yep. that's pretty obvious. Um, Jason will not. I mean, he'll try to stay close to Jet, but if Jet's like really going for it, Jason will stay with second child. Okay. Um, and look to second child and say, <laughs> "Is there an appropriate way to address the head?" Um, she grins back at you uh, and you notice she's uh, consciously or unconsciously matched herself 
to the spinning of the plinth. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. She's just <laughs> ever so slowly rotating in your field of view, and it just seems to be perfectly natural to her. Mm -hmm. uh, and she says, "Oh, there's all kinds of secrets, but I'm not going to tell you till we're closer." <laughs> Jason will ask her if she wishes to join them. It's been a long time. I will. I haven't talked to Head in a long time. Okay. Uh, Jason will try to mirror what she's doing, like position wise. Yep. Oh, yeah. Which it's means his projection, you, like only, his ball is just going to Your mm -hmm. mass is only this big, right? So it's yeah. easy to just do a slow rotate on Yeah. That. And then yeah. so he'll try to do that. And if she continues to do that as she's walking forward. Like Jason, I mean, he has an eidetic yep. memory, so he can yep. kind of see how she's moving yep. and he will move in the same way as her to so try to stay. Compared to you, yeah. Uh, compared to the two of you, from your point of view now, the two of you are walking straight towards the plinth because this is how right. brains work, right? Because they're used to yeah. gravity, right? And <laughs> every, but now that means everything else in this room is slowly spinning around you. That's okay with Jason. Jason, oh, Jason, Jason is focused yeah, on the plinth. Because you would absolutely, your brain would go, as soon as you lined up with that plinth, that's why she did it, to put herself back into a comfort zone. No matter yeah. how long she's lived in space, monkey brain wants to be straight up and down. Right? Mm -hmm. yep. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, the two, and you guys, if you look back, um, <laughs> Jet, and you see the two of them coming slowly rotating as they come down. Yeah, like they're kind of walking along you're going helix, down. I would assume, yeah. right? Kind of, yeah. Jet's okay. like supermaning just, it straight it. down. The, yeah. the world revolves around Jet. Jet does not revolve with the world. Perfect. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jet's not committing no heresy and getting beheaded by the church. <laughs> They'd have to catch Jet first. They'd have to catch <laughs> So oh, now... Stuffy. Let's have some rolls. So a hacking roll from um, from feedback, a um, acrobatics sort of thing. If you have any sort of uh, skill that might help you in that uh, effect, jet something along those lines. And uh, Jason, because of your memory, I want you to give me a um, sort of a recognition test, and I'm going to give you advantage because you. I was going to say, is that regular or advantage? Uh, that's advantage. Gonna, absolutely okay. going to be advantage. Okay. Jet Jet has no special. Jet is not yeah. an acrobat of any sort. Right. Jet You're knows at zero G, so disadvantage, please. Engineering. Yeah, in that case, yep. Because that would be got... hard to. Oh, God. oh, and once you, I just realized, once you got off by like one degree, the room would appear to start precessing around. I mean, this is going really slow, but it would, you would appear to be precessing down the room like this. <laughs> And that would be extremely <laughs> difficult to recover now from. Now I know what a knuckleball feels like. <laughs> Jet calls that the big wiggle. Yep. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, wiggle, Jet, wiggle. Give me a roll with this Six. advantage. Six. All right. So that's a success. Uh, <laughs> feedback. How did you do? I got two successes. Two successes. Okay. And uh, Jay? I, five, one, four. Five, I don't four, remember. One with success. advantage of... Okay, yeah, I'm like, I, I is that is the fours? I'm, uh, that, I'm nope. hazy with the fours. Okay. Nope. Fives Five and sixes, four. unless yeah. you, uh, in combat, you can focus. But in this case, right. you guys are not yes, in a position. Yes. And okay. I have said before that out of combat, I allow focus as well. So you can roll on fours, fives, and sixes, but not in this instance. This is just yeah. too no, weird. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, mm. yeah. Just a whole zero. Fair Situations that allow us to prep. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you got any experience in, I mean, you know. Two and a half days ago, you'd never been in zero G. You'd yeah, no, 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 the no, planet. Yeah. You're now, you know, Neil yeah. Armstrong get down this room. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> failure was always an option. Um, perfect. Jay, uh, let's start with feedback because it's like instantaneous. You get two successes. <laughs> so you start to look for, like you said, patterns. And you look for the obvious stuff, you know, um, alphabetizing and all that good stuff. It doesn't work. You start to do that uh, heuristic approach where instead of looking for something, you look for what you're not looking for and dump it. Mm -hmm. right, so there's whole chunks just disappearing, disappearing, disappearing until you carve, 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 down, 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 down. And you get all the way down to there's two items on this list that start to pulse faintly and about 10 or 12 others that sort of ripple and then don't ripple and then ripple and then don't, and then different ones ripple. 
but there's two that are very clearly slightly lit up. They're mm -hmm. items in this room. I was, okay, I'll bring up the files on both of those. Okay. See what I got. Uh, one says um, uh, ancient mantle clock. The other one says a map of the coast of Florida and beyond. Okay. So it begins the puzzle portion of the show. Uh, <laughs> jet. Down the middle, and I mean, it's, it gets weird, but at the end, you kind of... Uh, <laughs> but you tell me, what it, by the time you get to the end, you're kind of nearly almost in control, but you're now with no way to break coming towards this plinth. So successfully getting there, tell us how that plays out. Uh, oh, at that point, that's when Jet's going to carefully reach behind him and sling feedback in such a way as to catch <laughs> feedback on one of these secure pin plinths like an anchor okay yeah. <laughs> like a distracted hacker anchor yeah. not yeah. trying to harm him of course but just yeah. like <laughs> yeah. all right hook. Yeah. yep indiana jones style whipping <laughs> yeah uh and uh come to a graceful stop right in front yeah. of the head yeah. you go for graceful stop and it ends up like boom, you almost kiss it and then you almost bounce off the wall and you have to kind of grab the plinth but you stay you're there now you're this far away from it, the workmanship is boggling. From a distance, you saw it was like gold and platinum, most of it. Up close, that's covered. And from certain angles, it looks like white ceramics. So it's almost like the, the geisha paint, uh, like that. But yeah. everything's still there. So against that even whiter background, this makeup, this Harlequin makeup really stands out. You also notice that some of the... Um, Jewels are actually buttons. Some of them are just pretties, but some of them are, you could depress them. Like... Yeah. As of right now, there's no sign of power or anything of the sort. Uh, you guys know that you need the word to make it work. Uh, Jason. Ah. As you kind of go down this room, your, your peripheral vision as you're rotating kind of sees stuff going by. Um, it all... It all matches uh, books that you've got in your inventory of uh, museum pieces mm -hmm. yeah. uh, that have been stolen. But these are beyond okay. that. These are like the secret nobody knows about them, never goes in the book sort of pieces. Right. Uh, like um, a dally, but instead of the clocks being all squishy, the clocks mm -hmm. are perfect. The whole room is melting around it. Okay. The only gotcha. one of its kind, right? Um, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah pieces by uh, uh, drawings of the Sistine Chapel ceiling, but everybody's got clothes on. Like these yeah. absolute one-of-a-kind things. Right. Uh, and uh, yeah, as you float down the thing and uh, second child is just drifting past them and every once in a while they kind of and adjust their spin just with one finger so that they maintain that. Process right, yeah, yeah. So you see that as you head in further in. Okay, uh, let's just... Jason? just stay in the same order so uh feedback what do you got what are you going to do with that information um there's also like file numbers uh and uh the the two that are slightly glowing are raised slightly like a virtual button mm. i'm gonna press it the, yeah. i'm gonna go with the the map first okay. press that button uh you tap that button and uh it a uh, uh, 27 digit alphanumeric comes up next to it, but you push that button. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's a background behind that. And yes, thank you for the reminder. We are going to do escape from New York part two, one of these Fridays. Uh, but, <laughs> um, uh, but uh, feedback. Yeah. You push the one, uh, the, the map and uh, the button uh, and this huge long number appears uh, and then, but behind you, you hear, Pff, and a drawer just slides out. And you can see, for, well, you can't see, but these two see for just a door, a, a flat drawer. I don't know if you've ever seen the, um, one of the places I used to work at used to sell large scale maps for hiking. In the map mm -hmm. case, that's just shelf, 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 mm -hmm. like 50 shelves. Uh, yeah. It's like that. Uh, but one mm -hmm. of those just click and pops out. 
feedback you can't see it all you can see is the numbers the two of you uh, mm-hmm. actually jason you're halfway down because uh jets uh, yeah. kiss and steal at the end here uh <laughs> jay you see that um next to you can he try to stop oh yeah it's easy just stick your hands up and catch okay yourself. Yeah. he um he's gonna look to feedback because yeah. He doesn't think the head or second child did that, and he's yeah, gonna. Yeah, feedback's just you know, there. Yeah, um, yeah, he's gonna look in the drawer. Okay, uh, you look in and you see a uh, ancient hand drawn, like it's like the "Here There Be Dragon" or "Here There Be Sea Serpents" kind of age yeah. of map. And it mm-hmm. is of Florida and the area to the southeast of that as it peters out into that little island chain. Uh, is there anything else important about it? Um, that he can tell, like yeah. he, he's gonna look at it. Like, I mean, he's floating along, and something yeah. just went. Poop. So, yeah. like, that's weird. <laughs> um, yeah, in a minute, I'm gonna I'm gonna go around okay. the room here, and then I'm okay. gonna give you. He's, a second he's to gonna stop. Roll, so, yeah, just just since he saw it, keep that absolutely. In mind. <laughs> uh, so you see uh, feedback. You see that thing poof, pops open, uh, and you hear the poof behind in your you know in your real ear. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you do? Okay. Um, yeah, he's gonna push the other one. The other one is uh, it says ancient mantle clock. Uh, mm-hmm. and jet another drawer opens up on the other side, uh, not like not right across, it's not like this is a pattern, it's just it's near here, so you can see it without having to move narratively. Uh, so that's how close it is. Narratively close, yes. Another drawer pops open, and inside a foam um, fitted case is one of those mantle clocks that kind of goes like that, and it has the big brass feet. Again, ancient, ancient, ancient. The numbers on the face are Roman numerals. And I mean, it's not Roman, but it's so old that that would have been appropriate. This wasn't being an archaic look. This is the real old, old deal. You can see from that depth, the patina to the wood. And it's stopped. What are the, uh, what are the hands facing at? <laughs> uh, the hands are at 1013. 1013. Oh, Oh, well then, um, yeah, it's gonna be like, well, folks, we've got a uh, ten and a thirteen. Uh, I don't know if we have any other significant numbers uh, out there or anything, but that has to be something. And it doesn't smell like fish, so I doubt it's a red herring. <laughs> uh, so, a moment. It sucks well, you're checking that here. stuff out and um, <laughs> saying that. Um, let's have another roll from feedback to see what more you can figure out out of this list, and okay. another um, uh, roll from Jay to see uh, if your memory can pull up more information that might tie. Okay, these I mean, he does together. have an eidetic memory. Oh yeah, it's a perfect so... memory. <laughs> Okay. Uh, that's I, I have taken that into account, and it's okay. not that in it of itself is not. I mean, it's helpful because you've got all the information, but it's not going to answer the question for you. So okay, because okay. he has okay. Hold on, so he has another two successes. Two, keep... uh, two more. Okay. Yep. Okay, so Jay oh, has an eidetic memory as well as a built-in hard drive, so he can yep. kind of just search. Yep. Like for I said, you're. But that gives you access to sort of all these museum manuals and things, so you okay. can figure out what all these things were. So uh, it doesn't advantage? tell you what the so far with only two pieces, it doesn't tell you what's in okay. Them. So, so yeah. is it an advantage or just regular? Give me an advantage still. Yeah. Okay. Six, a four, and a four. Okay, one more success. Um, okay. hmm. What can I give you? Um, on the face of the clock, on the face of the mantle clock, like I said, it's not running. It's got uh, two holes at the bottom that are sort of round, and then there's a piece that goes straight down from those. You remember you, you used to wind them like that? You put the, the handle in and twist it and twist it and twist it and twist it and twist it. Uh, but you look around in the box and there's no handles. That one. Two more successes. Two more of those items start to flicker clearer. Uh, on the on your on your virtual uh, scroll, uh, less of that sort of stuck between channels in the analog days, uh, mm. sort of snow going on, and th- they start to pick up, and you get two more. You get right. um, one of them says um, the archway, 
And the other one says, um, my diary. Okay. <clears throat> He's going to press the diary first. And okay. <clears throat> was there a visual rep representation of what was happening in that space? You, just, you can't see. Just here. Anything. All you see yeah. is like this, this file in front of you, like this paper in front of you. And every once in a while, this thing goes blue and you go click. And it goes gray, and the next one goes blue, and you go click, and then it's, 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 you, there's you don't hear the sounds of fighting behind you, so it seems mm -hmm. to be going okay. Yeah. <clears throat> but you have no way of knowing of staying in cyberspace and knowing what you're doing in the real world okay. by pushing these buttons. I mean, you can assume because they're file numbers and there's things mm -hmm. in this room, and you haven't heard screaming. But yeah. so yes, um, I want uh, both. Uh, Jet and Mana to give me uh, rolls this time. For for what? Yeah, I'm uh, like, for, for what? Oh, I was thinking for just for sort of gathering information because you were both sort of puzzle oh, solving yeah. last time okay. around. So. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Just, okay. Yeah. just making sure when you <laughs> oh, let yeah. off with Absolutely. like feedback yeah. was pushing buttons and then you're like, I need you to both give me rolls. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, uh, I understand. Uh, uh, are I they, never realized are that's an extra added bonus to this type of game. It's not make a con doing? save for me, which is almost always bad. It's just make a roll. I was trying to give the information. They, yeah. Sorry, are they go. flat advantage? What are we doing? Uh, with advantage in your case again, uh, because of the way okay. you were doing. And Jet, what? how are you sort of gathering information now? Well, Jet is not only, you know, handsome and an international ladies' man, but he's yes. also very perceptive. Yes. And uh, by oh, international yes. ladies' man, it means yes. he's got a per, oh, Canadian yes. girlfriend online. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you assume You've never they're met Canadian. Her. You assume yeah. they're a girlfriend. Uh, but yes. <laughs> oh, uh, you got some splaining to do. Uh, but uh, yeah, but anyway. Um, yes, so you, yeah, both of you with advantage, please. Uh, I got a six, a two, and a one. That's one more for you, yeah. Six, a okay. five, and a one. That's two more okay. for you. Okay. Uh, three bits of information about this. Let's go back to the first one. Um, Jet, you're kind of, you can stay where you are and sort of see the map. Uh, it's actually starting to float up out of its case because this is zero G. So it's tilting uh, nicely towards you so you can see it. It's actually well lit as well. Uh, almost like this was being filmed. Mm -hmm. That's in, only in my head. Not like, not there's somebody watching you in game. That's an out of game joke. Uh, but you can see the, the map lift up and the detail on that chain of islands is much better than the actual coast of Florida. Hey Jason, uh, how many yeah. keys are there? You're closer. Can Jason see how many keys there are? Um, yes. Uh, okay. and in fact, there are. Um, out of, out of character, I yeah. don't know that answer. Well, so. I don't. I don't really. I'm, gonna make, I'm gonna make it up, and it's gonna be true. I, I know it's a uh, lot. More than two, less with, than three hundred. So well, you know. yeah, right. yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to I'm going to play this game. Uh there's a bazillion, but only 13 of them are named on the map. Okay. Jason, we'll say 13. So we've got a 10, a 13 and a 13 so yep. far. So that's two of the three <laughs> successes. The final success um this one nothing like no door opened when he pushed the, you can see him, like you, you can't see him, but you can see stuff's been coming up. Uh, yeah. Nothing happens next. Like you're waiting for the next thing to pop out until you sort of look around and you both see it at once. The, um, the door you came in has got a, an old medieval arch built around it on the inside. Looks like real stone. I mean, everything else in here is real. So why not? Uh, it, it's this real stone arch and the stone at the very, very top is pulsing a pale blue. Ooh. Jason, you're closer. You should probably go touch that. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, will go, Jason doesn't like that idea, yeah. but he'll go look at it. He'll go look yeah. at the keystone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Jason, your body isn't real. Go poke it. <laughs> <laughs> Never, things can short Jason out. Yes. So, yeah, you know. There's ways to take damage. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, so with Jason, that information, we'll try. Um, what do you do? 
I mean, Jason will go try to, um, actually, you know what, he's a hologram and he's computer, so he's going to try to, like, you just hear this, like, very faint whirring, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. like, he's trying to, like, visually focus and, like, zoom in. Yep. And, like, because, like, moving in zero G, even as a hologram, is hard. He still has math. It's not in your natural program. Absolutely. Yeah, so he's trying to just, like, focus, like, yeah. and it's, um, <laughs> it's not, uh, like I said, th this piece of a rock is actually glowing pale blue. Uh, as you zoom in on it, you see a couple of things about it. Uh, one is it's not from the same arch as the rest of this arch. Okay. It's much, much older. Okay. But there's an engraving on it. Uh, and because you have an eidetic memory, I didn't even think of this, but you don't, yeah, you would know what it says. Uh, it's uh, C-O, and then there's a dot, and then it says X. And then underneath that, it says... Aquita and the rest of it's cut off. What it means is the tenth Roman cohort of Aquitanes. Okay. Uh, Jason's Jason Jason will relay this yeah. to Jet. Um, mm -hmm. can feed okay, so can feedback hear that? Like feedback doesn't know what's happening in uh, the picture, right? He's got uh, in my head. He's got one ear plug in and one out, so he can. Because I said before, he can hear drawers opening in the room behind right. him. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. You can talk to him. I have. Okay. I, I have mean, no, yeah. Jason's going to relay no it to both. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I have no visual um, perception uh, yeah. output, but I can still hear. I can still feel. My equilibrium got weird when Moose started floating me around. Okay. Um. Can I can I retcon something real quick? Sure. Just because Jason is a hologram and a computer himself, yeah. like he probably would be like verbally relaying most of what's happening sure. to feedback. Yeah, mm. that makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when like feedback hey, and hear a door open. Hey, we got an arch. Yeah. 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 So feedback um, hearing that, then you now know that this is working, right? Mm -hmm. Right. But you also see that there's still there's there's down to only three of them sort of flickering. Okay. But yeah, Jason, Jason relays the, you know, 10th or, oh my God, yeah. 10s and the 13s. And yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. And the Roman numerals and yeah. Aquitas and all that stuff. Yeah. You know, okay. he, re he relays all of it. Feedback. Um, I'm going to change my focus and start looking for um, significant 10s and 13s. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I'm obviously I'm seeing the pattern, and there's obviously something in that somewhere. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Uh... We're good. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Have I got a story for you after tonight is over? Uh, <laughs> you start looking for tens and thirteens. Uh, give me a roll with advantage. You better make this roll. I oh, <laughs> if you fail, I'm gonna make you do it again till you get I got it. a six. A six. That's all it took. One more success. I... There's you. You start looking, and only one of the three remaining things has both of those numbers in it. Mm. And it's just the all the entry says is. A bit of poetry. A bit of poetry, huh? That mm. sounds familiar. Um, I'm remembering something from the the cult. I didn't get a chance to look at their stuff, but I do remember there being some kind of... I don't know if it was poetry, but there was stuff there that Moose didn't get a chance to get to me. So, okay. what are you pointing at? Just had to figure. Sorry. Okay, I'm gotcha. Back. So yeah, give me that. Uh, you got the one roll, right? So yeah, you get mm -hmm. the a bit of poetry, and uh, that box lights up now. It's the only box left. I'm gonna hit that one. Okay. Uh, you smack that button. Um, from underneath the head itself, uh, jet, uh, because you never technically moved, you're still the closest to the head. Uh, like a, almost like an old-fashioned cashier uh, till opens up, sort of thunk, this little drawer comes out, 
and this piece of paper floats up with these two sentences in a very childish hand. It says, I am the lock, and thus you are the key. I am nothing without you, and we know you are nothing without me. Mm. Little drawer goes, That's a little pretentious. It was written by a nine-year-old <laughs> girl. Uh, look. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've know. been the live journal. I oh, know yeah, perfect. As you finish reading it, two child floats up behind you, still rotating slightly compared to you, looks over your shoulder and says, I wrote that. It's oh. kind of pretentious. I agree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, so um, we know a nine-year-old yeah. or somebody who yeah. was nine. Yeah. <laughs> it's also completely psychotic, but never mind. <laughs> well, that's why, you know, if we managed to get the door open to the main habitat, that's going to give her some surprises and just let uh, her go do her thing. Oh, if, oh I uh, mean, what better cover, cover there, than, you know, There's a layer clone, of black ice between violence. you and that. But yeah, if you could send that girl home, that would be an excellent <laughs> distraction. <laughs> uh, but, is... so, yes, you get that piece of, uh, that piece as well. Uh, as you say that feedback, the the scroll in front of you just disappears. Just vroom, and you're now in a, like, you're getting that sort of disconnected from server feel. This room is now empty. Sorry, just dead journal. Fucking yeah. unlocked a memory. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Nope. I had to do it. Oh, man, I remember dead journal. There was some morbid <laughs> yeah. shit. I would have been <laughs> fucking locked up if my mom read my dead journal. You are all oh, welcome. <laughs> Tell me you're in your 30s without telling me you're in your 30s. <laughs> Anywho. Anyway. Um, yeah. So um, I'm in another boundless void now. Yep. Yeah. But just not, uh, yeah, just an empty room. Yeah. It's, it's not even boundless void. It's more like you're hung on the last frame when you lost the mm. uh, connection to the server. Take psychic damage all night. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyways. Uh, yeah, okay, so feedback's basically, he's going to leave a marker. Yep. Um, kind of like, this is my spot, like my a bookmark. Yep. Um, it's actually called bookmark.exe. Yep. And yep. <laughs> he's going to... Um, <laughs> I was going to say jack out. That doesn't sound right. He's going as, long, to... as long as you say out, it's all good. It's understood. Yeah. 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 <laughs> mm. I, laugh. Laugh. I got no screen <laughs> laugh. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, he's going to um, head back into meat space. Yep. And... <laughs> Yeah. Jack out into meat space. It doesn't yeah. get any better yeah, the more you talk. Better, oh my God. the hell out of that. To find yourself hanging on a hook, just like, yep. like a piece of meat hanging on a hook on a wall. But it's zero G, so I mean, the slightest yeah. twitch and you'll be off and free-floating. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the the uh, the log-off sort of shutter yeah. sort of frees him from his coat hanger. Um, what was in the diary? I don't think we actually looked at the diary. We didn't. You open up the um, diary and it's absolutely empty. The only thing of interest about the diary is that the lock is broken. He looks to second child and I, I haven't technically read the the poem, but uh, Jet would re would have relayed it. Yeah. He's not. Yeah, I guess have... I guess you would have read it out loud. I would have heard. Yeah, it. He's not just going to be like yeah. hmm, <laughs> yeah. final clue. <laughs> Carry on. I'm a rogue. <laughs> I have to take this. It's unprincipled. <laughs> yeah. But yes. uh, he looks at the second child and asks um, if she's the key to this. I'm not a key, silly. Oh, you're the lock. Aren't you? I don't know. Okay. Well, um, I am the lock. You are the key, and we have a broken lock on the journal. Is do we see a key anywhere? Is that like an actual thing? Um, 
Give me a synchronicity check. How many uh, dice? Both of you, because you're here, that's one die at disadvantage. This is that that that, that moment of realization. Okay. So one die, disadvantage, proud. five or six. We got this. Six! Yes. <laughs> and feedback? Two. Two. Okay, feedback. Oh. Feedback, you get hung up on the 10 and 13 thing. and Just start dancing that, that makes in circles. Sense. Uh, by the, the way, numbers. by the way, there's ten words in the first sentence of that uh, uh, oh, son poem. Of a bitch, you're right. Thirteen in the second, and ten thirteen was not a red herring only because I didn't create it. You created that ten, that red herring yourself. <laughs> I just played with what you gave me. Uh, so, um, yeah, you see through the. You finally see through the ten thirteen, and you realize what's important is a word I've been keeping track of. Between the three of you, you have now said it seven. Times. Look, personally, I will admit I'm a little too high to remember what I said even yep. two minutes ago. Oh, and, uh, and I know you're really <laughs> tired uh, and all kinds of, yeah, there's a thousand excuses. And the one person with the eidetic memory. I have got an, an yeah. infinite number of hints until you figure this out. Uh, but yes, you get the, you just hear that it's, it's like looking at a, um, like a pattern on an oscilloscope and just seeing the same over and over again, you don't know what it is, but you know what you've heard it over and over and over and over. Jason. Oh, perfect. They drift into the room. Do the two of you, do you say anything? Oh yeah. I mean, feedback. This yeah. is perfect because Jason just got back. So what did the two of you Sorry. say? <laughs> uh, Jet's going to say, I feel like there's a pattern we're missing. Like there's something that we've said or has come up multiple times, but for the life of me, I can't identify it. You give me, you know, give me a motor to a 57 Chevy. Yeah. yeah I can tell you what's going on there. Yeah. This puzzle crap is, is not me. That's why I blow things up or take them apart. Right. <laughs> ah. At that moment, Jason, you hear the, um, you see this. Uh, uh, you hear this conversation, uh, and uh, do you mention seven times that uh, you get the impression that you've heard this seven times tonight? I wasn't was... sure if I knew that. Yeah, you like, get, in character. I'm, I'm okay, giving you that specific has... number, and I'm being very careful not to make it a 10 and a 13. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> you've heard it. No, and actually, it wasn't because I recorded it. Uh, I kept track of it. Um, the word, you're, you are convinced somehow that that word has been said seven times. Which by word? the three of you since you walked into this room. Eidetic memory. You don't even need yeah. to roll because you can't okay. not remember. Okay. If you get rid of at, the, of, and all of those words, mm -hmm. the only word that has been said exactly seven times. Yes. I'm going to go over the hints again. <laughs> That's more than one word. word. And I'm going to change, change the descript description slightly. <laughs> A map of an archipelago off the coast of Florida. Okay. The arch that makes up the door of this room. Ah, uh, okay. Balls! Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, the, uh, you, say less, say less. <laughs> the ancient mantle clock that needs to be wound up. Yep. A diary with a broken lock and a bit of poetry that says, I am the lock and thus you are the key. I am nothing without you, and we know you are nothing without me. I said it twice. In that you said it twice? In that okay, description well, either, that I just gave. Okay, well, it's either lock or arc. <laughs> <laughs> it's key. It's key. Oh, Bam. It's key? There it is. Oh, okay. Yes. Because the, um, the the stone arch that's the keystone. Yes. The uh, well, okay. Yes. So I okay. So here's the thing. So when the I was keys. like, "Oh, to play something yep. out of character," because yep. I was like, "I know that's a keystone," but Jason's from the future, so does he know that's a keystone? Well, even so, every single one of those. Yeah. The diary with a broken mm -hmm. lock doesn't need a key. The ancient yeah, 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 yeah. clock is wound with oh, a key. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yep. And yeah. Jason oh, okay. at least would would have has the the hard drive, so would yeah, uh, for yeah. all of the. True. And then, and stuff, of course, so that would... 
my brain screwing myself up instead of calling it a key i called it a charging handle on the fucking clock yeah. <laughs> i specifically i specifically Listen. did not use the word key in any of the descriptions i gave well, you well yes so my brain uh, is so, like well there's yeah. every time it was said it was you guys and Ar- archipelago uh, exactly and, and yep. arc oh, yes. on the, and i was like oh all my god the literal, arc of the covenant yeah look away all the noises i could make yeah. were not the noise that you need to make so <laughs> now you know yeah. the word how are you gonna use it Um, anybody remember? I'm, go- I'm gonna go up to the head. You said there were like yeah. buttons and shit yes, on the face. Are. Yep. Um, I'm going to either look for a key or the yep. letters K E Y. Um, you don't see, uh, there is a, a space on the back, um, that has that shape, like that keyhole mm-hmm. shape. Uh, the key is in it. Okay, um, I'm going to use, well, <laughs> pull out like a magnet on a stick. <laughs> yeah. It's a mimic. <laughs> I'm growing up in D&D, it's probably a mimic. <laughs> no, no. Um, um, turns out the mag- the stick is the mimic. Yes. yes. It's been biding its time. The selfie, of, space, the selfie in the of infinite energy, doom. Just, it's a mimic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, Play what are you doing? Selfie stick mimic. Um, Basically, a magnet on a stick trying to get, or is it big enough that I can actually get my hand in there? Uh, well, the, it is like think of it as sort of the back of the skull here, right? Yeah, this part's all open and it's all like church miniature church organs, and then mm-hmm. down here there's a little door and the, there's a keyhole in it, and the key is in the hole, so it's just a matter of turning it. Oh, okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna yeah. turn that uh, and open the door and open the door. And inside, you can see the workings of this thing, it's not moving right now because it hasn't been activated. But there's gears and tiny bellows and just the intricacy. It's like a Swiss clock times a million. This was made by a mind that was didn't take the easy way to do anything. It would take a team of professionals months to figure out how the hell this thing works. I was going to say, can I use my Xenotech expert perk to... It's not Xeno, no. It's still a oh, human. It's, not... it's just, if you had psychiatric okay. tech, then that might be different. But... Is, se- is no, Second this Child is not... still yeah. nearby? Sorry? Is Second Child still nearby? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Just floating okay. slowly, turning with the plinth. <laughs> yeah. The temptation okay. to take a Tomb Raider, the movie cut shortcut for this. It's a red herring and just yeah. smash the whole head. Yeah. Is there, but it's not going to happen. You have to get information from it. So. Okay. Yeah. Um so there's no real obvious way to try and turn it on. Um no. Jason makes like a little like beep beep. <laughs> like it it kind of sounds like a uh you know uh electro- uh electronic, electronic That's what I was saying. <laughs> like, a, like, a cough, like a weird like yeah. <laughs> yeah. um yeah. Ahem, ahem. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> meet room, see, meet room. It's a voice file. Feedback, yeah. Feedback's head just sort of yeah. peers out behind the other one. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, Jason just kind of looks at Second Child, who is just probably like creepily floating along. Yep. The point, just slowly right? turning. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Jason will kind of hold out a hand to Second Child, because like assuming she's not level with him, because he stopped flirting with her yeah. along, yeah. you know. I'll just yeah. kind of like hold out a hand to see if she'll take it. And she looks at your hand and what are you trying to do? I require your assistance. Can't you require it from over there? I believe and Jason like kind of glitches. Yeah. <laughs> you uh-huh. know, because he, he doesn't know how to deal with like live humans most of the time yeah like i believe a lot of you're, you're all logic like, and she's all emotion like how the hell yeah exactly so he's like work, he's, right? he's visibly short like he's like you know because he does a lot of things behind the screen he does yeah. i i i believe like you hear that i i i, I like a skipping record almost. Yeah. oh yeah <laughs> he's really nervous style. right now yeah i i i, 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 I Ooh, he's yeah. really nervous right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i do not know but I believe I require your assistance to talk and speak with the head, please. <laughs> like, he's, oh. like, really, like... <laughs> yeah. Well, th- this might cause you to actually freeze in space because she looks at you just 
totally bland faced and says, oh, well, you have to choke it. Oh, yeah. Jason literally goes, <laughs> he yeah. goes into his ball and yeah. comes back out. Like, yeah. just in the span of two seconds. And he'll go, he'll go, repeat, please. You have to choke it, you know. <laughs> Normally I get over, dinner in a movie before I do any choking. Yeah. But... There's, <laughs> there's buttons all over, but there is a red button right there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like, 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 Jason I had to be accurate. I had to put like, it right, right on, the, like... on the right bone, right on the hyoid <laughs> bone. So, yeah, there's a button right there on the throat. It's the only one that's. Before anybody does anything, Jason will pull up a hand and go, Will it be violent? Oh, no, no. The head's not violent. That's me. Understood. No, like, no. like, Jason doesn't even blink. Like, he's like, Okay, done. And then, <laughs> you know? and then she drops Understood. the following sentence. I'm getting bored. Aha. Jet will actually reach into his pocket. <laughs> Does everybody remember, remember what happened a week ago when she got bored? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's going to start by reaching into his bag of magical things. Yep. And uh, handing her a couple fine Swiss chocolates okay. that he, he purchased. Yeah. He swiped. Yeah. Well, you know, purchased on somebody else's... Thing. Jason will also pull something out too, and it kind of looks like a weird pocket watch, but not really. Okay. Because Jason's an engineer and he yes. tinkers, right? And it's not oh. a weapon. Um, yeah. It's probably going to be by the time she's done. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, he's an engineer too, though. Yeah. And it looks yeah. almost half finished, like three quarters finished. Ooh. And Jason will say, oh. press the side button and just hit, give it to her. Like it's, it's kind of like a distraction. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. But if she does, like, a miniature hologram kind of pops out like it's okay, like yeah. a pocket watch meets a music box but it's kind of gotcha. like broken okay. right so music box and he just kind of like it's a music box of you no like of... okay what's the what's the image then uh the image is of... <laughs> you need to know oh yeah i do <laughs> right now oh yeah <laughs> okay yep. yeah no the image is of a um probably like a teenage boy okay um, late, late teens, not like yeah. teenage age, like, yeah. you know, 19, 20 yeah. ish. Legally adult. Um, I understand. Yeah. 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 Legally adult. And that's he, what I wrote here. Le kind of like teenage, but legally. Adult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, he's kind of dancing, but I was like, he's half glitching again. It's like three yeah. quarters built, yeah. right? It looks yeah. almost yeah. finished, but not quite. Yeah. And he goes like with the chocolates, he's like, have a, like jet comes over his shoulder with the chocolates. Yeah. He has the watch Absolutely. and it's a snack and a toy. It's a snack yeah. and a toy. Like Bam. you would give you to a child. The two of them. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. So at that moment, the two of you are occupied. Feedback. You realize you've got just a second because I mean, you watch this. She got bored melting unicorns. This this is gonna this will work, but not for an extended period of time. So, uh -uh. Uh -uh. what do you do? You I'm heard gonna... you have to choke her. Yeah, I'm gonna reach around, and instead You're of just like full of choking... phrases tonight. Yeah. <laughs> 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 reach around reach... after jacking out into meat space. Yes. Is... Yeah. After jacking out into meat space, I'm gonna reach around and choke the head. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you reach up and click that button as your your th it, you you go to press it. With, I'm assuming you're trying to do it like without, but you realize it's really stiff. It's sprung. It's going to take two hands squeezing the throat to engage this button. I'm sorry. There probably should have been a content warning here. <laughs> Just realized this now. Um, <laughs> content warning innuendo. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's but, not really breath play if it doesn't breathe. So. Well, yes, exactly. I think we're covered yeah. there. This is, it, it's neither... <laughs> And anybody who's ever Hopefully, her it's neither auto erotic <laughs> or asphyxiation. <laughs> so technically, it is none of those three things, as far as I am personally concerned. Thank you, Thunderscape. Uh, you covered it for us. Thank you. That's actually the one from the Unwanted, but it's the only one we got, so that's all yeah. it gets. No, it works. You you squeeze it. You hear the button go click. What do you say? Um. Hello. Just. Yeah, I wasn't really sure it was, oh, it, nothing happens. Okay. Um, I'm going to um, actually repeat the poem. Okay, you start uh, reading out the poem. Um, yeah, I don't have a copy, so I'm not going to make you read it. But you read it out very carefully and very loudly and nothing. You turn around and look, She's uh, she's taken the chocolates and put them around the edge of the music box 
So as he dances and spins, he kicks them off of the edge. And there was six. And you watch boot, boot. There's only four. She's <laughs> And then she grabs on here to hold on to something, leaves it floating in mid space, and reaches down with her thumb and like her fingers, without even really looking, just crushes them as they float away. Just <laughs> goes back to watching as he spins around because it's kind of like one of those, you remember those magnet on a stick that, and then the tray of magnets below it, and, and it the do fish. all kinds of yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's like that. Eventually, they're all <laughs> going to get kicked off. Two of them are gone. Hey, all um, th- now all three of you are free because you've given her her stuff. So yeah. now this action, this turn, all three of you can have an idea. Feedback. Let's start with you because you're already. I was going to say, hey lady, how do you get this thing to talk? Does he doesn't seem to want to talk to me? Uh, I have administrative privileges, so I don't. It just talks to me, except sometimes it won't tell me stuff. Mm. This chocolate smells like caramel. I don't like caramel. Here's a coconut. <laughs> Like Jason's just like, have more chocolate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a mixed bag. Yeah, absolutely. A, a quality street bag. Let's do that. Yeah. Even. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, it's not my turn yet. Yeah, go ahead. You got an no. idea? It's your turn. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jet is going to reach out. Like, did anything change after feedback choked it? Uh, from Looking from where you are, uh, nothing visibly changed, but you can, because you're further back, you can sort of, there's almost like a shimmer in the air off the back of it. It's not like it made a noise, but it's like the organ inside fired up and just that little bit of dust came loose. And because it's zero G, it didn't fall down inside. It's actually floating out. So uh, like trying to figure out if a computer that has no RGB, oh God, does such a thing exist, uh, is turned on or not. All right, let's try this. Uh, head, query, location, because I forgot again what yeah. the hell that thing is called. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, cornucopia. Uh, the, uh, the cornus sepien, uh, sepientii. Yeah. No yes. answer. You have not yet given it the word. Is, okay, so second second child's distracted, right? Yep. Yeah. Is she, like, Shunk. really distracted? Uh, For seconds as you look the third chocolate gets kicked off feedback as you I mean, questionably say please say that word again uh key Tunk, the button locks on her throat and the eyes light up and this i'm going to re- reiterate again the inner eyes are they're, they're like marble but then the irises themselves are old school printed circuit boards that have been ground so thin they're transparent almost transparent. You can still see the green with the silver filigree in it. They open up the irises uh, of the people's bzzz, bzzz, and you can see cameras. You hear boom, boom, J- and Jason a little more is... dust floats out of the back of the skull. Okay. Because it, it takes Jason literally seconds to do this. Oh, like yeah. Milliseconds. Yeah. He's whoop, whoop, and yeah. he now appears as second child and he has an eidetic memory and he's a computer. Yeah. Yep. And so he will say, head, where is the kind of roller? Yep. Because again, I can't do it either. Yep. Both of those would have worked. Uh, They're both successful. And now nobody needs to yep. roll because you double tricked it. Um, yep. You say the uh, Cornus Sapientii and yeah, another uh, drawer about three quarters of the way down on one side. Uh, just You hear the poof. Once it's open, Jason is back to as he was, yep. right? Like, oh, absolutely. Second yep. child's distracted, so he's yep. like... Yep. Dum, dum, dum. Um, <laughs> yeah. Speaking of second child, uh, she looks down, and there's one piece of... There's one chocolate left, and the little dancy boy is spinning around, spinning around, and she goes... <laughs> and just eats the chocolate. She turns it upside down and kind of throws it at the ground. It goes down and bounces and comes back up. And she says, so that was fun, but I really am bored. I'm going to count to a million, and then Takal's going to kill all of you. One, two, okay. four, um, eight, you skip three. 16, 32, hey. 64. Hey, Jet, you've got that do thingy, right? 128. You, you Jason is going to cooler. in and out yep. of his ball. Oh, yeah, he's... Yeah. Jet, yeah. It's, unless somebody else is going for it. Just um, kidding. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No more Drop Mr. Me. Nice Guy. So as that's your happening, fingers Jason... go through a um 
uh, a script written by Shakespeare that nobody's ever read. As you push further along, your foot goes through a Michelangelo that's never seen the light of day. I kind In of fact, imagine this like a movie. You kick the dick off of a Michelangelo that's never a statue that's never been yeah. seen before. Uh, go. Um, okay, so Jason is literally going to appear in front of Chek Second Child yeah. as herself. Yep. Just to amuse her, like yep. to distract her, amuse her. She's bored, she right? Says, oh, good idea. I killed myself fourteen times, and it just never gets old. And then and she so keeps counting: two fifty-six, <laughs> five hundred and twelve, <laughs> one thousand and twenty-four. Okay, it looks to um. It's 2048. Uh, looks to <laughs> um, we looks to do Jet this all and night. Jason. Yep. Um, okay, we've got what we need. We should probably vapor. Right. Real quick, head <laughs> yeah. query: How can we get second child here into the main habitat? There's just a pause, and then you hear. Outside, door the moose comes back in, steps back through the door, and says, "What a miss!" And like, there's shit, everything. There's the the map is floating around. The, everything is that you guys have taken out of boxes is floating around in zero g. The little thing at the end is flashing lights and talking, and he's just like, "What did I miss?" And at that moment, behind him down the hall, you hear not just a pff, like the door is opening until they have now. You hear that of an airlock door opening. And the head in this musical voice says, the doors to the habitat are now open. Please enjoy your rampage. Brilliant. Then Jet, as long as I'm not jumping the line here, yeah. is going to point that out to a uh, second child and be like, here's two knives. It yeah. just kind of glide yeah. them towards the door because he's not going to hand them to her when she's night next to them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he's like here's your knives uh go say hi to your family that seems like more fun than just trying to kill us right and she that you you let one go slightly before the other and she catches one and lets the momentum spin her all the way around just in time to catch the second one and she kind of tucks them both in her mouth between her teeth pointing different ways like a double pirate and she says thank you 2048 4096 8,192 and heads out the door. She's still uh, counting. <laughs> oh my God. Does she go through the door to the habitat? Yes, she's heading back into their uh, habitat. Head, Mayhem is going to that incur. door. Close the yeah. habitat door. <laughs> yeah. Close them. Yeah. Jason yeah. still looks like second child and yeah. sounds like second child. So yeah. he'll reiterate what Jet is saying. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah. and the head close the habitat door. <laughs> the head, uh, you hear the dunk after they uh, after second child steps through. And uh, the little, um, the head starts to sort of, it doesn't speak. And like I said, it's made like an organ. It starts to play a dirge. Sort of dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's the emperor's music. That's not what I was looking for at all. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of scary and nasty. Uh, and that actually, um, that, you know what? That does work. She's at least as nuts as that old fart. Uh, but yeah, just before the, just before the door closes, you hear that, yes, she's on her way, but yes, she's still counting. All right. Um, we need to vapor. The cooler. The cooler. The cooler. The cooler. Jet already did the switch. Yep, that's, you where, did. that's where the you know, yeah. stats Jet. get kicking and things uh, like that. You so get there first. Like... Yep, you got there first. Uh, you get to the door and or into the drawer, and it's another one of these uh, uh, cases with the flippers on it. You know that inside it, it's foam fit. Uh, you, if you check to make sure you pop it open and you can see the book in there, it has the name Cornus Sapientiae on the front and uh, the cover, uh, it's, it looks like somehow like a version of the, um, the wolf grandma story, except somehow there's three wolves and only one Goldilocks and they're all Alighieri. But as you look mm -hmm. at the picture, they start to like walk around on the screen and you hear, uh, you don't speak Alighieri because you didn't know what this, you know, mm -hmm. you, you just, yeah. Uh, you just hear a foreign language saying, uh, but it's a sing song voice. It's clearly like a fairy tale. And that's what you were told this you book could... does. So, yeah. 
you can tell me it's a sing song voice and that's what the alligiri has but in my head they just bleat like goats yeah. in their own language and the little wolves are dancing along to the map <laughs> The sheep, love. yeah, sheep, yep. wolves dancing to sheep's clothing. Wait a minute, yep. what the hell? Go. Uh, sheep's clothing's uh, a van. <laughs> Next query, head, how can we safely detach you and take us with you? Yes. Because there was a bonus for that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Jason also wants to know that. I am not attached to the plant other than by a small magnet. However, I am being tracked. No, no. First. We have a hacker, an engineer. Like we yeah, I bunch. peer into the, I peer back into the back of the head and look for, see if I can find some sort of tracker because it's not going to be the same tech. No, it's I not feeling like, second it's child. Not like looking for a GPS chip, right, or looking mm -hmm. for an eye tag or whatever you know, whatever the equivalent <laughs> yeah. of that is. Well, it would be one of these things is not like the other. Well, except yeah. that the whole inside of this head is one thing is not like the other, like right? The we, other. we, yeah. Have, <laughs> this thing was made by a mad nine year old. Um, yeah. it's gonna, you could do this, but it would take time. Bollocks. However, uh, I will also point time? out that, um, <laughs> given, uh, given Jet's plan, there might not be anybody to come after you in the period yeah. of time, uh, that it would take <laughs> you to program it to not be giving away its location. Screw it. We're Indiana Jones in this shit. Let's go. Just, Yoink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yoink. Right, gone. Okay. <laughs> It belongs in a museum. Yeah, just <laughs> our museum. museum. Yeah, yeah, literally, it is the museum. All right. It belongs in a different museum that pays us for it. The two, <laughs> uh, the three of you and Moose. Uh, Moose is like, so we're done. Wasn't there something we were supposed to leave? Did we did. Already? We left. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we, that we back in. Okay, I wasn't sure we had it. So, yeah. yeah, so you pump that back and shove the drawer shut. Uh, as you do, the head says, one more thing before I am disconnected. And all the drawers pop, 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 shut back up again. The map is still floating around the room because, you know, it floated mm -hmm. out and they can't yeah. control um, that. But Before that happens, can Jason grab the diary? Yep, absolutely. Yep. Okay, thanks. You, just, you, yep, just, you have yep, a blank diary thanks. with a broken key. Uh, broken yeah. Key. yeah. Here's what we're going to do. There. Moose is going to tow Jet. Jet is still going to, like, while being towed, at least till they get out of zero G, be in there probably with Jason floating along and feedbacking yeah. you know, all of us just working on this while moose is apparent effectively oh, our locomotion i love it i love it i love it oh yes this is beautiful all right um let me here so i can describe this correctly. yeah many hands make light work yeah in between being perceptive having the uh Oh yeah, we're yeah. This, we're not rolling this. This is this is an this is a uh, Jason this is a final scene, by, like, right? Very so. banal things, right? Like he's like, I want the diary. Yep. Like you got the diary. Like, Moose is just <laughs> with his hands. Yeah, we'll take there. a moment to grab yeah. that Michelangelo dick though. And just... Okay, just the dick. Yeah. Okay. Just yeah. the dick. Yeah. Make a note. I'll never remember it. I just made the joke. You made it. Michelangelo's real. David's penis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no no. Oh, it's the first. It's this, the first day. Oh, this you is did Franklin. this. Uh, it's, it's the first Davis, uh, uh, David, but he looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> the person that paid the equivalent of a hundred million dollars for it to be done did not appreciate that. And the other one was done as a replacement. Uh, so there. The penis was too big as well. Yes. That's, yeah. 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 Uh, it was, it was yeah. against Greeks. And Embarrassingly Spiros. large. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. the first Michelangelo's day was just him with arms akimbo okay Jet's gonna leave this at a crime scene at some future it's point so just to puzzle it there somebody's just gonna be like this is a Michelangelo penis <laughs> what is it doing here it's perfectly crafted uh, <laughs> somebody was fascinated with him never mind uh, <laughs> the run Moose drags you guys out if you want I mean he can just yep. haul you through this out through the door of the museum, back down this short area, and back into this room that you were in in the first place with the pool and everything. As you run into that room, the speaker on the wall, you hear 500,120, I think it is. I forgot. I figured it out. The <laughs> and yes, I did it without writing it down, but I've forgotten it now. Uh, and then you hear... One million two hundred and forty. That's more than one million. You're not. You can't kill us. <laughs> Jeopardy you rules. One million. Yeah. Jeopardy <laughs> rules. Over. Yeah. 
You, you hear a giggle through the thing, and it says, this isn't the prices, right? This is the real world. Oh, hi, sis. And you hear a scream, and the connection cuts off. All right, well, be on the lookout for a blind ninja. <laughs> <laughs> and this speeds up the uh, moose even more. You smash through that door, out of that one, through the storage room in the next place, bounding through that almost straight across through the other door into that original storage room. There's already stuff floating around in here because all those crates were cut loose, and Moose just pulls down the helmet on his armor and just... Like, he doesn't even hear himself say it, and he pushes off the wall and kind of tucks you all under his arms and just does this combination of a Moose and a Peregrine Falcon down the length of this room, just crates flying everywhere as he does so. <laughs> Slam engaged. up against the door. Yeah. Slam up against the door, hit the button, open it up, and the game player is just floating upside down to you. Uh, he looks up at you, says, Has anybody seen a pawn? And nobody laughed when I did the hooves thing. And boom, through you go and out the other side. <laughs> <laughs> The that way was that Jason we... just wants to grab this man and take, yeah. the, take him with them. <laughs> um, like, come with us. There's a whole big world out there. As you grab him, your hand goes right through him and he disappears because clearly he was a figment of your imagination. <laughs> or at least a figment of the author's imagination. He ceases to be along with the game room that you're in. Uh, oh, I love that face. Uh, yeah, please well, respond. we drugged him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Previously. Yes. He plays a deep we game. Gave him, he, Jason does not have an imagination. We gave him so, me, so much drugs. Yes. He ceased. He not only ceased to be, his reality ceased yes, to be. Yes, precisely. Yes. He That's stopped believing happened. in himself for a moment. That's right. He's really <laughs> hard. I can fix this. You guys go out through the other side and into that entrance area. Behind you, the door slams shut. And in the other room, he pops back in and goes, that was weird. That's only happened three or four times. And then goes back to trying to find this white pawn that he's looking for that you guys took with you. It's absolutely key to the game he's trying to build, and you you took it with you. But it's a USB port. It is. It was. A, it was you had to take it. It was key. Look at me using the yeah. word a whole bunch of times now. I didn't the whole first half very intentionally avoided that word. <laughs> now I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, out through that entry area, you now have a choice to make. Into the common lobby and down the past the guards and down the elevator through the back door and down the, into that common lobby, but immediately down the fire uh, escapes and down the spiral staircases. Or back in the room you came from and down the um, the pipe, the conduit. Or I would say down the conduit choice. would be easier Yeah. than going up the conduit. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The only challenge then is going to be keeping from building up too much momentum before you get to the bottom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, we got that covered. Yeah. So you guys okay. leap out onto the conduit. And I mean, the first part's literally free fall. You have to push yourself out the hole and then do that to start moving Ish. down the conduit, right? And then you kind of claw your way down. The further you go, though, at some point, you would kind of have to turn around because gravity's taking over. And now you don't want to be going headfirst into down, right? That just feels wrong, especially when you start to fall mm -hmm. and there's no way to catch yourself. So you spin yourselves around. And at that point, you look up. And out of that hole, this little uh, head comes. And you can see the burnt out eyes. And these little ears just go. And this little columnar comes out and starts to use his claws to run down the conduit towards you. It's not. Thanks, I hate how it. <laughs> I wanted this to go. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to do it. Yep. <laughs> Jed is going to reach into the bag of tricks. Yep. And we're going to go back to the well for something. Yep. And that something is flashbangs. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Throw a flashbang. The bang's going to work. The flash won't, but the bang will. <laughs> uh, you hurled that flashbang again. We're in the finishes. Yeah. So two of them up there. Slight uh, set slightly different times. So it goes boop, boop. Maybe that'll yep. screw them up audio because he's got big ears right you see him kind of freeze for a second and you've deafened him so now he's two senses down he's still coming but he is definitely he's coming but only because he can stay on on the conduit he can no longer see you or hear you he's just running on instinct now at that moment yeah go ahead you had something else to say 
yeah, yeah. If that doesn't, I was, I was expecting that to stop him. But if not, we're going glue bomb. Okay, and you just start hurling glue bombs and, and flashbangs. Get his straight, just reaching yeah, into absolutely. the back. <laughs> what do the other two do? Corn. Corn. <laughs> um. I forgot it back then. Jason thought uh, EAC had stopped working mostly because his player has stopped working. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh my God, I honestly, I can't think of anything that I'd be able to do other than maybe try to rattle him a little. You've got the head. Uh, feedback. Uh, yeah, I've got, okay. I've got the head. Um, it doesn't say yeah, anything, I, I, but uh, yeah, it, it feels head. like vibrate. It's, it's not speaking, but it's kind of you, you kind of like a zzz, almost like a phone alarm, like a vibrate alarm. Okay. Um, the three of you see you approaching alarm. along. The, remember that it, this is lit by that uh, beam, right? That that single filament that runs the full length of the chamber because you're outside again now, right? And coming out of the glaze like fighter pilots out of the sun, you see three unpersoned hang gliders coming towards you, clearly being controlled, but nobody's flying them. <clears throat> well, I know where we're heading. The head um, starts to hum. Yeah. Okay. What do you do? So I think we... I think we've got our ride. You've got to get to I mean, the. Jason, uh, Jason you still got to get to shipping right? receiving uh, to get out of here. There's a ride arranged for you, but you have to get to the shipping receiving area. Uh, only about Jason a third has an eidetic memory. Yes. So oh, yeah, when you know he where, saw it, maps. Oh yeah, you so know exactly like, where it is. Yeah, hey, out of trouble. This way, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jets at, straight up sorry. taking that Superman dive again for one oh, yeah, of yeah, those yeah. gliders <laughs> as soon as they're close. Yep. Jet yeah. is just he's like I freaked out. I've thrown. Yep. <laughs> Flashbangs uh, and glue bombs and that ear of corn. Um, yep. I am. <laughs> yep. it's cold. You're out of stuff. Yeah, you got nothing, nothing left but a gum wrapper and a, a receipt for dry cleaning. You don't remember sending in. Uh, that's all that's left. Uh, so, um, I want out of all three of you, uh, uh, if you are you know physically um, apt in some way, have a skill that would make that good, then give me uh, advantage. Other than that, just out of sheer desperation, I'm going to take just a regular two die test roll as each of you, if you choose, assuming you do try to make the leap onto the, okay. um, yeah. out, out, out of character, Jason probably would have been like, Hey, this is where we need to go here. At the home of the hanglers. Yeah. And he probably just like, and like yeah. into Jet's pocket. Oh, okay. Perfect. Cause yeah. like he, he's easy. not yeah. physically adept, but he, yeah. like he would directionally maybe give Jet some help. So if Jet doesn't sure. have an advantage, yeah. maybe coming. I got you. Yeah. Um, that makes sense. So you pop yeah. into his pocket. Yeah. So the other two, I'm not going to give you advantage for it, but uh, the other two, give me two days. Are you rolling for Moose? Uh, I will roll for Moose. Oh, <laughs> you probably shouldn't have put that evil out into the universe, but oh, it seems okay. only yeah. fair. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. I failed. You failed. Five, five, three. Five, five, three. And Moose oh, rolled a five and a four. Uh, so, yeah, you leap out. Boom, boom, you catch onto the thing, kind of swing forward almost like a gymnast on the, on, you almost go all the way around. You, know, you tell me. How do you say, uh, Kevin? Stop well, um, depends. Is, is he likely to? to you succeed is he likely with to land on Elan. top or on? Well, with great Elan. Yes. Oh, well, then with great Elan, of course, yes. he's going to push Elan out of the way. He's going <laughs> to get onto that. No. Um, <laughs> sorry. I don't know what got into me. Tonight. Oh, yeah, I do. It was the weed. Yeah. Um, no, he's going to just <laughs> go straight for it. Just hit that bar. Yeah. He's going to swing up, kind of plant his feet on the, the bottom of the glider. Yeah. Just enough to stop himself, just yeah. poke, and then just kind of hook an ankle into the the spot for that, and yeah. he's just and it's <laughs> flat note. Uh, mm. As you do on the little screen in front of you, you just see an image of the the head just for a second, then it goes out, and then you have control. Well, hopefully, the head has a sense of self preservation because yeah. I'm sure I can see feedback just going. <laughs> I got it. I get. Oh, and the then feedback. the feedback. Uh, you, <laughs> techni you technically missed, right? I technically missed. Okay, and I'm so, the one holding the head. Absolutely, uh, we're all good. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do Moose first. Uh, Moose leaps. So he got one success. So he goes for the reach. He catches it with one hand. It's not that graceful, but it's just a sheer power move. He just kind of does the <clears throat> and just curls himself up with one arm to the bar, Moose style. Right. He's still got the helmet down, so he's getting little contrails coming off the sides of it as he kicks himself up into position. It would appear. Uh, that he might not jump well, but he appears to be good at flying a combat hang glider. I don't know why, <laughs> but he makes it. 
feedback. Yoink! And it is immediately apparent. This ain't gonna work. You're way short. And you oh. look down and say, oh, we're high enough for a hang glider to work. That means we're in gravity and you're starting to, starting to fall. You think to yourself, maybe they can catch me. You look up and they're like, they're gone. But you watch your glider above you tilt like a fighter plane and dive down towards you. You hear the head in your backpack over the whistle of the increasing whistle because every meter you go down, the faster you're going because mm -hmm. you're going into gravity and you're gaining speed towards terminal velocity, right? You hear in the backpack, just like heroic World War II fighter plane music. <laughs> On the little screen in front of you, you see Snoopy shooting down the Red Baron. It's just pulling right, like the equivalent of um, Jung's uh, group memories out of your mind yeah. and playing them on this. And this thing comes down and scoops you in such a fashion that you are on top of the hang glider. Like you're, if the mm -hmm. front of the hang glider is here, your knees are here. So as long as you keep flexed, you're okay. Yeah. But you're not flying this thing. Uh, the head is definitely flying it. Every muscle is completely tense. You're just, He's just like... Oh, you're, you're that uh, the pilot that the window blew out and he got sucked out all the way to the knees and they had to fly all the way down to the ground with the other guy holding onto him while the co-pilot landed the plane. It actually happened. Yeah, 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 I've seen uh, pictures of yeah, it. It's fucking you're, terrifying. You're that guy. Like, you're ah, in the wind on this thing. <laughs> the three of you bank <laughs> Over left. comms, you just hear feedback going through just the cycle of swears. Yeah. He finishes in one language, he moves to another one. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out he knows very, very good French. Yes, yeah. Um, as you fly these planes, these uh, gliders down, I just looked at the time, so we're going to wrap this up here. As you fly mm. down towards the um, the area you know, especially jet, uh, or sorry, especially uh, in your pocket, here's how you can help. You're given instructions on how to get to shipping and receiving. Uh, as you guys get lower and lower, these gliders are going faster and faster and faster. Um, you a, a door opens up ahead of you. It wasn't you. Again, you hear just a different hum come out of the head as you get closer. And these vast storage doors open up and kind of like reverse Star Wars. Instead of going into the station, you're kind of coming out of the living area and out into this huge hangar. Just sort of <clears throat> out into this huge <laughs> open space. And as you, uh, as you do so, you see there's only one ship in here. There's big signs everywhere closed for... Uh, close for repairs, radioactive waste, and da, da 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 Somebody has shut this down on purpose. You can your meters are not beeping. There's no radioactivity mm -hmm. here. Somebody has shut this down on purpose. There's one little tugboat sitting way down at the end of it. As you guys whoosh, on this huge hangar, it looks like a pop can that lost a war with gravity and pressure. It's just. It's just crushed and bent in every direction, laid on its side. It's roughly Coke can shaped. It's got little doors and hatches sticking out of it all over the place. It's also festooned with long, uh, um, it's, in, it's again, you're, you're back in gravity here. So these, these long uh, jelly-like hanging things coming off of it, uh, they're caulking. Like done in zero G, you do a really long line of caulking in zero G, and then when you come into gravity, it just goes, <laughs> yeah. So as you sort of zoom across to it, you see there's a large man standing in front of it, leaning back against it, his dark skinned bald dome shining in the sun back to about here. From there back, it's all dreadlocks. <laughs> and he looks up at you, grinning, just a big, big smile on his face. And as you get closer, you hear. I and I am Malcolm, the Rastafarian Navy, and Ja Willen, I and I am here to rescue you. And he hits a button and the door opens to his little tugboat. All right. Called the Buffalo Soldier. Just waiting for that. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess when the, the glider lands, feedback just sort of tumbles just off. Poof, poof, poof. Yeah. <clears throat> and, so, uh... Yeah. Yeah, just let's see. Oh no, he does kind anything of anything any of you would like to do before you jump into this tugboat and leave this place. No, 
No, no done, with, just gone. done with this Get place. Up. I mean, besides, what yeah. are we going to do from the hangar? So, Jason's out. Jason is uh, so yeah. out. Yeah. Slam through the door. Malcolm spins through behind you, closes it, and spins the handle shut, uh, and just hits the go button on the dash, and you watch a pre-programmed burn happen. The door opens. You scoot out and head out into space. You look back behind you, and there's sort of some flickering lights out at the end of the spindle in the family unit. <laughs> and once in a while, a section goes dark. There's a small explosion. You can see like a row of portholes lit up by an explosion that happens in there. Uh, and then you can see there's there's air leaking out in several places. At least it wasn't our fault this time. Because of that, the whole station, I talked about precessing earlier. As you pull away, the whole station starts to do this. It's not going to wreck because those are innocent people, uh, but it's going to be <laughs> really uncomfortable. It'd be like on an ocean liner when the stability stops working in a big storm. They're, they're in for a oh. ride. Uh, It'd be a run on Dramamine. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but with that, you guys drop away. After about 15 hours, uh, Malcolm herds you into a small sort of... Uh, it's an escape capsule. It's just a, a dumb pod. Uh, and mm. you're put into that all your gear is in here already somebody took care of that everything that you came up here with is going back down with you all resealed in these diplomatic pouches there's a dunk as a door closes and you drop and you have the unique experience of doing a zero control dead drop re-entry into earth's atmosphere <laughs> the unique deadly oh, experience just oh just imagine i mean you can see when you when it pops out and you look through this portal, and this is a real porthole, this isn't the screen, this is the little porthole in the door, mm -hmm. you can see three quarters of the earth lit up in front of you. And it starts to get bigger and bigger, and it's slow at first. And then you realize it's actually rotating, it's taking so long, it's rotating under you. And the Terminator, you're, you're going sideways as well because you were in orbit. Cross over to the Terminator into the dark side, and you start to drop lower and lower. The only way you can tell now is the lights outlining North America and South America. You see them go by the black of the Atlantic Ocean. By the time you get to Africa, you're so low you can hardly make out the shape, mm -hmm. but it's got to be Africa. You cross that, and it goes dark again. You're over the Indian Ocean. Your parachute comes off. <laughs> this stops. <laughs> Splash down in the Indian Ocean. The yacht pulls up beside you. A completely empty electric yacht. It sticks up out of the water about that much. And it's just black carbon fiber. You know there's no way this is registering on anything. Uh -oh. All right. Well, let's get our luggage in, kids. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. You throw Jason, out all this stuff. This you, entire time, Jason's been in Jet's pocket. Yep. Like Jason. Yeah, it didn't come up for the whole ride. Okay, so yeah. No. The, yeah, the, no. the spot that Jason was supposed to take on the uh, skate pod was where the head was. That's yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. The yeah, head needed a seat. All right. <laughs> so you are rescued by this yacht, which takes you to land and through a series of blind drops and disconnections gets you back home without anybody being the wiser. When you get home, the second part of your money has been deposited. Mm -hmm. And a note says, well done. Bonus incoming. Await message. But we haven't actually turned anything over yet. Uh, no. Okay. Nope. They trust you. Okay. They have, okay. You haven't got your bonus yet, but oh. you've got your pay. Okay. Uh, oh, they couldn't come you and just find told you. a bunch of black market people that they've been trusted. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, on the other words, uh, on the other side of this, that means one of the richest people in the world trusts you. Or knows that they can kill you if you rip them off. Either way. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so, that's generally yeah, trust either. at that level. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> yeah. the same thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that's, that's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. I trust you enough to not kill you. That yeah. is what that right is. Right now. Yes. <laughs> so with that, uh, as you sort of get back to your houses, I know we're at 10 after, but I want to do this. When you get that sort of, you get home and I'm assuming you're just sort of thrashed. Do you crash? Do you, what do you do? I mean, Jet doesn't have to sleep, but, or sorry, I keep saying that Jet has to sleep. Uh, <laughs> Jason doesn't have to sleep. But over the next sort of couple of days, what's the thought process? Let's start I with Jet. I said At some point, running. Jet's going to wake up and realize he never took Jason out of his pocket. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> he's, like, he's, he's not even going to think about uh, it. He's going to be so yeah. freaking knackered from this whole yeah. thing. You thought you were sitting on just, your wallet for yeah. three days. It was Jason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, you know, he, Jason's been in there for like 27 hours yeah. between the flight. The, yeah. Oh, yeah. Needs a charge and everything. Yeah. He's almost yeah, out. So, yeah. so he can, he can only be a little Jason right now. Little Jason. Yeah. At some point, he's going to be like, ah, he rolls over. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't even take his clothes off. He just dropped. He's like, ah, yeah. oh, Jason. And plug him in like he's yeah. his phone, put him on the nightstand. And just Because he's a USB, you have to plug it in, light. turn it over and plug him in again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jason's dead light is a yellow light. His live light is a blue light in okay. case for anybody wondering. So right now it's green because you're kind of halfway in between. You need a charge. Uh, exactly. Uh feedback. Um feedback. Uh <laughs> well, the first thing he does is he uh pulls out the patches he didn't use. Yeah. Um <laughs> grabs the yellow one, slaps it in, turns on some music um and starts to kind of relay the day and everything that happened to um the ai the ghost of the machine he's okay. kind of catching himself up so yeah you take um i like the idea of not necessarily being an addict but uh, the i just the idea of someone who doesn't like the meat space going this will help and then taking a drug to sort of disconnect from the meat space uh and then yeah and you dictate i like that you actually tell the story to your tablet or your deck you know uh rather than sort of inputting it any other way i like that and then i caught the glider perfectly first yeah. time it was beautiful yeah. you would have been so impressed error, error. lie detection 404 yeah. fact not found <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But yes. clippy. You appear to be spouting bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Clippy. Oh. Well, okay. Uh so with that, we will drop a curtain on tonight. Thank you to all the players for for just like it was a rush at the start of tonight. And I really appreciate you guys, everybody hanging out and getting the timing and and, and uh, doing what we could to get here. I appreciate all of that. So thank you very, very much. Uh Bison feedback always amazes me. I love it. Uh, thank you uh, very much, Mana. I appreciate the effort you put in every week to get here. Uh, it's just, I, it, it's, it's, I know it's a rush, so I appreciate the fact that you've worked that hard. As to get Kyle here. likes to say, get an into frame. Yes, every week. exactly. <laughs> yes. Uh, speaking of which, uh, if I remember next week, uh, uh, yeah, I got, a, I got an entry to make up for the for rushing you this week, Kyle. If I remember, I have an entry for you next week. Are you going to do the no, pet 2C no, no. live on camera for us? Uh, uh, oh, no, no, no. I'm just providing musical accompaniment. Okay. Uh, but... <laughs> oh, so thank you to the three of you. Thank you to chat. Uh, and, th and chat thanked us uh, for the stream. Thank you. I appreciate that very, very much. Uh, and I'm sure so does everybody else here. Uh, but thank you to you guys. You're why we do this. Uh, yes, we'd game, uh, but I, for one, love being watched, and it brings out the best in me. Um uh, so thank you for that. Uh, YouTube people in the future, thank you for watching. If you watched all the way to here, please hit that like button because I'm going to assume you did and hit the notification button because I did it again today, like four videos in one day and then nothing for a week. Exactly like it says not to do it and all the how to be famous on YouTube <laughs> things. So I do it that way. I do prefer being watched. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, and uh, with that, oh, I said I was going to give something away before tonight. Uh, or at the end of the night, the, the 1013, you guys created absolutely and completely out of thin air. Uh, I, I knew whatever number I gave you on the clock was you were going to take it and do something with it. So I just gave you a number, uh, the 10 letters and the 13 letters in the poem. I had to add two to each line that was that close. And I had no <laughs> idea that this was coming because I made it. Yeah. So that whole red herring that turned in not quite a red herring uh actually was uh, on the spot and it happened because of you guys so uh kevin <laughs> if you don't mind if i interject 10 13 is historically the time that is portrayed on most clocks in artwork throughout yes. history because it is known as the happiest time yes it also uh they used to use it in advertising when clocks had analog faces yeah. because the two yep. arms frame the name yeah. of the clock yeah yes so it's, uh, exactly yeah, and a rolex and then yes. the, if there but was then a second it's also hand, historically it the happiest down. time because yeah. it looks upwards yeah and it looks like a smiley the, face 
Yeah. Yes. You put the uh, yeah. You put this the. Um, which makes me think of you. The brand. Which is what I was going for. Because the, the sixty Aww. the sixty second thing straight down. Then it looks like a peace sign too. But yeah, there's lots <laughs> of reasons why they do it. And that's actually that's the image I saw. I saw ten ten, and I thought I can't give them ten ten, so I gave you ten thirteen, slightly different. So. Yep. Yes. But. Yeah, I was with, writing down like I had like notes and shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm like that capstone seemed... is older. It has C O X Aquitas, the tenth Roman. Well, I put court. a ten on it because Fucking... I had you guys were we were playing, so I put a ten on that. I put a thirteen in another one, so yeah. Uh, and it didn't. I don't think it took away because all it did was take you to the item that was important, mm-hmm. and then you had that moment where you figure out it's got nothing to do with ten thirteen. It's got to do with this. So. Uh... Uh... I think Thank he you. dodged that on purpose. Uh, there, I didn't. Robin. I'm coming back. I want to. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate the uh, the thank yous. Uh, it's. Um, I live for them. The your guys's faces when I do this, the reactions, watching you get sucked into the games, uh, and when I started counting, it was like yeah, whatever. And then I started counting uh, in the doubling everyone, and all of a sudden the tension just went, and that doesn't work unless you guys are immersed so i can't do this by myself we're telling this story together uh, and uh, the more we together the better this gets and that's something i have to keep reminding myself every single week so uh, (laughs) thank you all for helping us tell the story including chat and including youtube because we do read the comments i'm gonna let these people get out of here because it's already 20 minutes past when we normally stop so (laughs) with that Until next time, please be nice to each other. Good night. Good night, guys.